Right now, welcome to another episode of This Is Sevens. We're going to do a day in the life as a pro sevens player here at the Singapore Sevens. First thing in the morning, we've got to get an LFT and monitoring done. As long as they stay negative, we're good to play. The monitoring is just to keep an eye on our weight. Hydration in these hot climates is really important. So we're just seeing in the morning and the afternoon what our weight is, what the fluctuations are. Quite often that's down to how much food we're getting in and the hydration levels. Every morning along with the monitoring, we get a dose of creatine and a multivitamin in. Just with all the traveling and the changing environment, just trying to give us the best chance of performing on the weekend. After monitoring, we head down for breakfast. All the food is served buffet style, and there's a dining room with really long tables that all the teams eat in. <laughs> there's always a good selection, and this is the day before the tournament, so it's time to fuel up. Then it's back up, and I make my way to the physio room. I need to get my ankle straps before the team run this morning. We have a quick team meeting, and then it's on the bus, ready for training. When this video is out, we'll see where we are. How much you want? Oh yeah. No, it's too late. I'm going to come back. Now. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, So it's the Friday before playing on Saturday. We're down here in Tanglin International School. We've come here pretty much every year the Singapore Sevens has been on. Uh, it's Easter holidays at the moment, so there's no pupils. Uh, but the sun's out and we're here for our captain's run. So captain's run is me leading the boys on a 10k. It's our last training session when we look to fine tune all the details of our kickoff structures, our starter plays, how we want to attack and defend in this first game. So we've got Scotland tomorrow, so boys we've played a lot of in GB. Uh, so really looking forward to that game. It is hot here in uh, Singapore, so it's really important that you're getting your hydration levels right. Of course, getting those electrolytes in as well, so you're not just overhydrating yourself without getting everything your body needs. Remember, if your s &T doesn't come with a fully working Nutribullet to your training. RST Shake Shack. Fire them, yeah? I've They're got, got Robert's copyrighted now, so... So the school's a pool, so we're jumping in for some pool recovery. Just trying to get the body temperature back down, get us nice and fresh, ready for tomorrow for the games. So the boys had a little go at the header challenge, but no good today. Every tournament we go on, two of the youngest players get assigned a task. One is on joke of the day, one is on fact of the day. What's the lowest the temperature has ever been in Singapore? Someone guess. Ever. 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 Minus 400. Minus 400. Uh, <laughs> 18. Uh, 8 degrees. 4 degrees. 19 degrees. Yeah. I was in 1986. 19 degrees. Oh, that's, that's, a that's, that's a great fact. That's a great fact. So this hotel is one of the best ones we stay at on the World Series, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the room. In this hotel, every team pretty much has a floor to themselves. I'm sharing the room with Carrick, one of the players in his first tournament. Great roommate to have, and he even showed me this photo of us two together when he was out watching the Dubai Sevens in 2018. So we're quite lucky the room we're in has a balcony, got a great view over at the marina, at the Marina Bay Sands and the rest of the downtown Singapore. Uh, so that's been nice in the evening, just been out there playing some cards, playing some Bruda. After training it's time to head back down to the dining room for lunch. This is risotto with some cheese and some hot and chicken. So we've got some time to kill this afternoon, so we're having a massage. I think the boys are going to play a couple of games of Prudo. Can I help you? No. Pasta. And then I realised I could pull the salmon. Yeah. 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 I 
just had a dip in the pool, gonna go get changed now and we've got our jersey presentation over by the Murd Lion which is in the bay here in Singapore. The jersey presentation is always a real nice time of the week. It's a chance to get together as a team and look forward to the weekend. We had four new caps, we wanted to make it special for them, and it was Robin Southern Taylor, our SNC's last tournament, so he said a few words and handed out the jerseys. Rob spoke about his time on the series and how fondly he looks back on those memories. Where I'm at at this current time in my career, that really hit home with me, and I'm looking forward to just enjoying every single tournament from here on out. Thanks for taking the time to watch and as always a like and subscribe will help us grow this channel.